Hi, this is Scott Shepherd of Scott Shepherd Photography, Watertown, South Dakota, and welcome to Backstage Pass, a an occasional screencast where I talk a little bit about the process of taking and making a photo. And today I'm going to talk about a photo that I posted on March 17th, 2013 on my blog, A Photo A Day, called Late Summer. And it's a relatively common subject. Uh, this is prairie grass that's uh, abundant in South Dakota. Um, and I took this photo this past summer. Now, before I get started, I want to talk a little bit about the software that I'm using. This is Aperture 3.4.3, and I'm using Mountain Lion, the most recent version of that, and I'm editing on a 27-inch iMac, um, just in case you're interested in the technology. Um, you'll notice that I have uh, almost 50 pictures of the same thing, and a lot of them are very repetitious. And I've talked a little bit about the whole concept of uh, spray and pray as opposed to the um, decisive moment. And um, this does not evidence my uh, desire to get just a few frames. I took several. And uh, the primary reason for this was that it was a very windy morning and I was working with a macro lens uh, fairly close to the subject and the heads were moving all over the place. And I knew that having the right focal plane was going to be a bit of the challenge. And uh, so you can have a sense of where I was when I took this photo. This is uh, a place called the Little Bend on the Missouri River. And uh, Missouri River is dammed by the Oahe Dam, and so it's also known as Lake Oahe. I'm going to show you how I went from this, which was the uh, picture right out of the camera, to that, which is a bit of a tweak, uh, to the final edit, which looks like that. So let's start with the uh, first photo as it came out of the camera. In my work, in my workflow, when I brought a picture into Aperture, um, there are a couple things that I do. One of the very first things I do is I look at the histogram. And this histogram shows what we see, and that is that it's a fairly um, low contrast photo. Now, the reason for that is that um, it was a fairly dull day. The clouds had not uh, cleared yet, and uh, the sun had not quite come up. Now, I could fix this photo really simply by adjusting uh, the levels. And I think I already have a better photo. As you can see, there's before and there's after. But in my case, what I did was that uh, I took this photo and I edited it in one of my favorite plugins, and this is Color Effects Pro 4. And so I'm going to bring this into Color Effects Pro 4, which is an amazing uh, suite of tools. But there's one in particular that I really like, and as a landscape photographer, um, I found that it's very handy. And we'll make this fill the whole screen. And the tool is a tool called Contrast Color Range. And what's uh, really nice about this tool is that it does adjust contrast, but it adjusts it over or within a particular color in the spectrum. And so I have um, a lot of control. And my primary um, mission here is to try to set off the color of the um, prairie grass from the green in the back. I can control the intensity of that contrast and I can control the brightness. And um, this is really just kind of a matter of taste. Now actually what I've done is I have a recipe just so we can get this fairly close to the way it is in the blog. And so I'm going to put apply this recipe and so there you have it. And I'm not going to do anything else in um, Color Effects Pro. And by the way, this piece of software can be bought as a standalone piece of software. I think it's $150, although you can get a 15-day free, fully functioning trial if you're interested in giving it a try. Now this is called round tripping, by the way. So I have brought this back into Aperture, and there it is. Uh, now, just so you can see, there's the before and there's after the um, Color Effects Pro filter that was put on it. 
and I'm just going to do a few more things here to it. Uh, I'm actually going to go back to the levels and I'm going to boost the contrast even a little bit more from within Aperture. I'm going to adjust the vibrancy a bit. Though I have to be a little careful there. I don't want to boost it too much. And I could uh, play a little bit with the uh, color temperature here. But I kind of like the cool look that uh, the auto white balance in the camera gave. And then the final thing that I'm going to do is sharpening. And this is a real simple sharpening uh, process. Um, and I'm not afraid of over sharpening this. What I'm trying to do is bring out the edges of the focused heads of uh, grass. And I think that if we zoom in on this one, you can see what the sharpening is doing to that. And the reason I'm having to sharpen and uh, boost saturation is that I'm shooting in RAW. This was originally a RAW file. Now, the very last thing that I'm going to, going to do is I'm going to crop it. And the thing is, is that I'm interested in um, the rule of thirds. And I'm trying to bring the focus or the focal interest to the focus plane, which is really right in through here. That's where most of the heads of wheat are in focus. And so um, I know I'm cutting off a lot of really good stuff uh, behind this, but I'm going to press Enter. And I might have cropped it a little bit too tightly there. So I'm going to take the crop tool, broaden it just a little bit. Uh, what's the art here? I'm not sure I can tell you, but I know it when I see it. Anywhere there, anyway, there's the final product. So I went from this, which was the original, to that. And of course, the next step for me was to export this and put it on my blog. So that's how I got late summer. Thanks for listening.